go. Thought I heard a voice. Let's keep going, lad. <laughs> okay. Just what? put the key into that lock, brother. What voice? There. If you could give that drum a good loud strike. Hmm. Sure. What did that do? What? So that's the voice I heard. I hope oh. I would have escaped by now, but we'll need to free it from its restraints. What? Holy shit! Wow. Okay. Earth. That's so cool. Look at it. Where do we board now? Because we, we did board up there, but what obviously. What is this? That's not a wing bocker. I captured it many years ago. Broden. Yes. I thought it an imaginative and eye catching way to earn his favor. It worked. That it did. This creature. You enslaved it. Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time, with nothing to occupy your mind but pain. Hi. Oh shit, that's not it. Hello. Nice. <laughs> very, very nice. Yeah, like side quests like this, like they're very important to do because it's like this is this is part of Mimir's life. He's trying to he's trying to right his wrongs and stuff, and it's like, you know, I wouldn't want to finish the game and not have like, you know, fixed these problems that he's got, you know? It's good, it's really good. You can see why people were praising the side content if it's gonna be stuff like this, because this is very cool. Wow, right. okay. You chained the fins too. If you could. <laughs> easy, easy. That creature's hurting. But we're going to free it. But it will always be chained. You know that as well as I. Now for the other fin. There may be a way to reach it behind that collapsed debris. Collapsed debris? Ah, over here. Is there a way? Oh, there has to be a way to get up there though, right? What am I what am I missing? Because there's no connector from there to there, so it has to be something over here. I see obviously there's that, but I can't reach that from here, that's too far away. So unsure. Hmm. 
Unless I can just... Yeah, maybe I can get here from the other side or something. Oh, well, I have to get there. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's just a later on thing, I think. There should be a way to blow this up somehow, but I'm not seeing it. Some way, somehow. Hello. Anything illuminating? Regarding the removal of resources. When making your initial strike, you use an axe, not a pick. You use a pick, you go too deep, you get red flow. You get red flow, somebody has to clean it up. Pre-dawn remains the best time to harvest. Grogginess and disorientation are still a major factor before the sun comes up, so the chance of accidents becomes much lower. Always wear earplugs. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> uh... the creature. Its fat was a good source of oil for Odin's lanterns. Oil for lanterns? Whatever anger you're feeling, whatever loathing toward me, it's nothing to what I've said to myself. Yeah, he's not that person anymore. He used to be a complete tool. He's grown and he's changed. Another one of these lyricism poems. Mind of Vassia. Uh, what is it to live? What is it to die? Is that the only difference in the beholder's eye? When disease rots your body and hate sours your brain, what separates the mad and the sane? For the bearded, cruel father and his surrogate daughter shall never know respite from a life full of slaughter. The evil will die along with the good, and the difference between them grows less understood. <laughs> It's like so deep, man. Yoink. Huh. Wait, was there a way to jump down from there onto that side? I don't think there was, was there? That was close. I didn't see a way to drop down from over there. But let's just have a check. 
Okay, so I missed away. No, it's all railinged up, so you can't you can't drop off the edges here. Okay. It's fine, just making sure. I wish there was, I wish you could just jump down when you're going back down. It's so slow. <laughs> Whee! Splat. Sort of device. Firebombs explode on impact. Throw it, causing massive damage to enemies or debris. I see. I can't hit that from here, can I? It's too far away, right? Yeah, nowhere close. There's a dock down there, but it looks like it's blocked. Hmm? Also, can I open this from this side? I can, nice. That dock can lead us to the tail. Cool, Let's cool. Get back to the boat. You never spoke of this creature. Does that surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made. No. No. Kratos feels it too. That's why he's not gonna like fucking judge you too harshly for it, I guess. Because you are now trying to right your wrongs. That's what matters, I guess. I mean, better if you don't commit the wrongs in the first place, but at least you have grown. I thought, I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now. But apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No, not when we can save it. Yeah. We can save it now. We we didn't know that that was a viable. Good. Well, you didn't know that was a viable option, I guess, dog. before. You would still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving, I don't understand. Let us continue. Hopefully it's not beyond saving, that'd be sad. Watch your leg! Bye. 
Oh, I love that. Love that you can use that to chain into a fucking yeet. That's so good. <laughs> That's so good. Where'd he go? Oh, hello. Bye. Number three. The tail must be chained as well. Oh, I that's what that the should take us where we need to go. That's what the rope was, right? Remember, I was like, "Oh, I wish I could use that rope." <laughs> that's cool. Okay, we got that opened up now. Very nice. The only thing I'm thinking is there's a way to blow that up. Do I have to... Oh, I probably... Oh, it's just around here, isn't it? Actually, I assume I can use the jumpy thing whilst I'm holding one, right? Can I one-hand jumpy thing? Yup. Lovely. Very nice, very nice. I think I see something. Does that not seem like a thing we could do? Am I being crazy here? Like it literally lights up. Oh. Fuck sake. Why is it sometimes a fucking button prompt like that and sometimes... Right, that's that thing. Sometimes it's a button prompt and sometimes it's something you actually have to aim. A whispering slab. Okay, haven't heard of that before, I don't think. The Rond of Aggravation Shield Attachment. Okay, uh, let's have a look. Rond of Volition is what I've got. Rond of Aggravation grants a Rage Burst when parrying. Sounds good to me. Thank you very much. There. You're free. on. Maybe it needs a little encouragement. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face-to-face, -face, brother? Sure can. I'm thinking it's a bit, like, how the fuck does it get out of here? <laughs> like, it's huge. How how would it how would it leave this small bit of sea? <laughs> I'm not sure. This is a really great side quest, though. This creature, the mining rigs, their mistakes, Mimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's not an excuse, little one. But thank you for saying it. Hmm. Still never got that one. Which means that this thing is... D <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate, because that collectible being there means that this thing does not leave, because they wouldn't make a collectible missable. You have to be able to get all the collectibles whenever you feel like it. So that means that this thing is not going to leave, and I kind of wish they hadn't put a collectible there. 
Because that does kind of spoil that outcome, you know? Where does it want me to go exactly? This eye? Didn't he say get it get me close to the eye? I guess he meant this in eye. Here. A little while ago you mentioned Odin's ravens. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's ravens is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then. Well, I mean, <laughs> it is so bad when he says, consent or I'll kill your family. And then you have to consent. You great blubbering beast. Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But no. No, we can face this. We just need to chase it off and scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. That's not enough. It seldom is. Sag. Big Sag. There we go. The weight of chains completed. What a great side quest. That was really, really good. That was really top tier. New lore entry. It appears that Mimir has enacted many cruelties here in Svartalfheim. None more reprehensible than chaining this creature and harvesting its fat for oil. To perform an act so heartless and to put it out of one's mind to never speak of it reminds me of a boat captain I wronged long ago. He too was robbed of his freedom and suffered because of who I was and the choices I made. Perhaps there is a measure of monster inside all of us. Right. Well, that was great. I wanted to ask you something about your blade. The ones from your homeland. What of them? Why don't you just throw them away? I see the way you look at them Because <laughs> they're really good, son. Like you're... I don't know. Like you hate them. Even hateful things have their uses. Besides, I tried. They came back. Here we go. There's another mining rig here. You the third and final. Deed with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't. Right, right. Easy peasy. I don't get it. The dwarves aren't chained up like the Loombacher. Didn't they quit? And do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. <laughs> Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. <laughs> Thanks for playing. You tried, little creatures, you tried. An Yggdrasil seed to Muspelheim. Huh. I think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago. What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going Man, fuck Sarah's that combat with. arena. It was fun. No, it, it was wasn't. Training. You <laughs> didn't have fun? No. Well, anyway. We that should look for the other half of the seed. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. 
That was by far and away my least favorite fucking side bit of the entire fucking game was Muspelheim. Some bullshit ass challenges we had to do. Wait, there was a other way. But I did them all. Because you had to to get to the top to fucking take on the Valkyrie. What? Is this not behind enough? Hmm. What counts as behind then? I can't hit it from over here, can I? Oh, can I? Oh, I can. Learn anything? Warning. If you can read this, return to work. <laughs> Good banter. Hmm. How would I get across there? Unsure. Can I freeze this somehow? Is there... Hmm. Ah! Great. Now we can make it across. Easy peasy. We go. <laughs> sure, you first. Why don't they use their feet? Don't most people use their feet to like grip the chain and push themselves up, not just their hands? You get like double the double the force if you're using hands and feet. Hi. It's a bear trap. Spawning a little wretch is like there's no tomorrow. For her, it will be so. Find you, watch out. night. Find you, I'm coming. Motherfucker! Die, motherfucker, die! Nasty hit! You all right, brother? I do! Those are hard to hit. <laughs> Does that give me access to anything blowing that up? No. They never came near enough to it to be worth use, trying to use in the actual combat. Well, there we go. That is third and final. 
donk and slice and yeet and smack and yip and psh. It is done. If you it could call done. so meager a task done, a wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No, but it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Sparklefine slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. Indeed. We got all three. Should we go back and have a look? The air smells a lot cleaner. It's because we shut down the rigs. the place to get to Sindri. It was over here, right? Yoink. Oh, Sindri. Is that pure startle fine slag? Get oh, it here. Hello. I guess I missed some stuff. I knew we'd left something behind. I'm here for you. Right. Uh, what have we got? Armor, chest armor. Uh, we don't want to buy that back. Uh, Nidavalier's finest placard. Stun grabbing an enemy grants a health burst. Oh, that could be useful. That could definitely be useful. 10, 10 strength, 10 defense, and 10 vitality. Compared to what I've currently got, which is 5, 3, 5, 5 and 3, which will go to 16, 11, but doesn't have any additional vitality. Yeah, I mean, why not? I doubt we, Are we going to use this all for anything else? Probably not, right? So we may as well. Hey. What happened to all the armor we made you already? I <laughs> used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. <laughs> uh, built with the ore acquired from the mining rigs, the craftsmanship is unparalleled and increases vitality. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely um, uh, the only thing you can make with that stuff. Uh, we could also upgrade it. But let's, let's make the rest of it... Uh, our strength actually goes down. What's our current strength? 17. Strength goes down from 17 down to 12. But vitality goes up. Is there any bonus for wearing a full set? I don't know if there is. Because that's quite a drop. That's a 5 drop. It's like a third of my strength gone. Oh my god, there's so many tears. Oh my god, it goes up to fucking nine, which costs 25,000 hack silver and a bunch of other shit. God damn. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Very good. But sure, let's let's use it. Let's use it. Well, we could upgrade it as well. I can't figure out. You know where it says, okay, so in the middle of the screen, it says stunning persistence one reduces how quickly enemy stun bars drain. And then on the left, it has a little E. It has a square with a little E on it for equipped. And then there's another grayed out square to the right. And I cannot figure out what the fuck that means. 
Stun drain reduction 50% and then it's got two dots 100%. But what does the two dots mean? I don't know. Well, this one doesn't have it. Like, I assume it's like if you get the two dots, then you have a 100% stun drain reduction. But is that linked to the grayed out square above it? Is that like, what does that mean? Can I do anything with that? It's incredibly unclear. I'm very surprised that they'd make something so unclear as that. What is this actually? This is just like sorting through different stats, is it? Like, is this which one has the most of which stat, I guess? Yeah. I just want normal. Uh, and last but not least, 12 and 6. Oh, but no strength at all. Hmm. Gonna keep it spatter free this time, right? Kratos? Defense goes up massively, vitality goes up a decent bit. Oh wait, now it's now it's got the other one that's what? Okay, so <laughs> Man, this is just so confusing. For some reason so the stun drain reduction is not tied to the boxes above, because for some reason the other box is now square and equipped. And the first one is not. If I go back to this. Okay, so it's it's tied to the armor piece. But what does it mean? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what it means. And there's no way of like clicking it to find out what it means or anything. It's just a picture that means nothing. I do not understand. Oh well. Uh, should we upgrade it? We've got a bunch of stuff. May as well get our strength up. That goes 12 to 23. What about this one? 10 to 16. This one's like biggest bang for our buck. Let's upgrade this once, I guess. It fits. Uh, we can't upgrade it again because we don't have Dwarven Steel. That's fine. Uh, let's upgrade this. For more strength. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Cool, cool. And then I, I guess we may as well upgrade the third bit as well. Oh wait, now both of them are lit up. <laughs> what, what does it mean? I don't know. Oh, we don't have any more forged iron, so we can't. That's fine. Be safe. Labor complete. Cool. All righty. Um, that's actually a good point to leave off, I guess. We have finished both the major side quests here. We've been all around the edge that side. We've hit up every joint that we can. There's only a couple of things left we couldn't do because we don't have whatever tools we need yet. We've freed our big friend here. And, uh... All that remains is to head to the main quest. So, yeah, we will do that next time. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more God of War Ragnarok. Thanks for watching. See you then.